Hello everyone, this is Daniel Tal. I'm here to talk about an extension and a plugin we're developing for SketchUp, me and Dale Martins, and it's called Placemaker. And what it allows us to do is import predefined models, high resolution aerials, and other items directly into SketchUp that we can use to work as a base model. And we're getting all the information from OpenStreetMap, and we're doing some modifications along the way. So I'll start off with this example, and I already in I've already imported in all these different aspects. So I'm going to go through the scenes and layers. And it didn't take long. It took me no longer than 15 minutes, really 10, 15 minutes to import everything in. First, this is the location tool in Placemaker. And it brought in the typical aerial that you get in SketchUp. And you could see it's a low resolution aerial. Well, we want to replace it with a high resolution aerial. And from that, we use the imagery button here. And I've already brought it in, so I'm going to click on that. And there you can see is the high resolution aerial to replace the low one. I still have the low resolution aerial in here, so I'm going to go back and click on that, and you can see the difference in quality if I go back to the high res aerial. I want to quickly show you the different data sets you can bring in and what they look like in SketchUp. So, under a placemaker, I can click on roads and it'll bring in my road network. You can see it right there. This is how it brings it in. It brings it in with faces. It's a group. It can be edited. It also can bring in paths or walks. So there's paths for you. Again, everything has faces on it. And on top of it, all this information can be subdivided on top of the aerial to create a complete building map, a complete map. Here's the building data. And also, when available, water and the vegetation. What does this look like as a complete? object. Here you go. Here's your model. And the nice thing about it is you have subdivided faces on the aerial and all the roads. So you have a complete base map you can start working with, modifying based on whatever you need to do with it. And that's Placemaker. Uh, it's alpha version right now. And we should be beta testing it soon and releasing it early next year with a couple of other features we haven't shown yet that we hope people will like and use. I'll end this demo by just showing some of the cities and locations we've imported into SketchUp using this. And this again was all done real time in SketchUp. It didn't take very long. I didn't model any of this. And we're bringing in all that information from different cities, Tokyo, Berlin, Moscow, New Orleans, Prague. And just to show you some examples here, here's Toronto. Portland, this took a while actually to just create the base map for it because it's a really large area, but it brought in very large sections of Portland in. And again, these are all 3D models with road work and street information as well. Hong Kong, this is an earlier version, of earlier alpha where we didn't have everything kind of worked out, but still we're testing the data sets it was bringing in. You can see all the 3D buildings. One of my favorites is Prague. Large areas. And last, Paris, downtown Paris itself. So stay tuned for more updates. Again, sign up on my website, danieltal.com. Sign up for free, and we'll keep you up to date about the next, the beta version and what we're hoping to bring next with Placemaker. Thank you very much.